Like, you know, this house, for example, I manifested this. Whether or not you consider yourself a fan of Drake, I'm sure you've seen his custom mega mansion in his hometown of Toronto. Spanning 50,000 square feet, the manor was designed and built exactly to the rapper's specifications, boasting world-class amenities like a massage room, NBA-sized indoor basketball court, pool in the basement, and much more. Not to mention, it was also constructed with only the best materials like limestone and exotic wood. Today, we'll take a look at Drake's legendary home and some of the coolest spaces inside. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. While Drake's career started off as acting in the hit series Degrassi when he was a teen, these days he's best known for being a rapper and singer. Once he pursued a career in music, his success skyrocketed and not only is he one of the world's best selling artists, he's also amassed an estimated net worth of over $180 million. The rapper's main mansion in the ritzy Bridal Path neighborhood of Toronto, which took years to custom build definitely suits his success and is a marvel to say the least. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out where Drake calls home and his mansion while well, it's full of surprises. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. First, we'll check out Drake's Pride and Joy property, his main mansion in his hometown, Toronto, Ontario. The same city as me. Where it is that the rapper bought the land back in 2016 for $6.7 million, getting the home custom designed and constructed from the ground up, which took years. These days, Drake's mansion is also known as the Embassy and is worth an estimated $100 million. Located on two acres of land in the upscale Bridal Path community in Toronto, not to mention he installed super high fences surrounding the compound for ultimate privacy. Drake's stately manor home was envisioned by architect and interior designer Ferris Raffali and no expense was spared in crafting the rapper's dream home. The custom crib is made of limestone, bronze, exotic woods, and other top-notch materials, spanning a whopping 50,000 square feet of space. Drake said about the home, because I was building it in my hometown, I wanted the structure to stand firm for 100 years. I wanted it to have a monumental scale and feel. It will be one of the things I leave behind so it had to be timeless and strong. Walking in the mansion, the entryway is decked out in black and white marble with soaring ceilings and a custom bronze and marble chandelier overhead. Also on the main floor, there's a two-level hallway, a party area, and a great room with 44-foot high ceiling, boasting a huge fireplace and piano room to the side, all of which leads to the kitchen. Even the piano here is something special. In the great room, you'll find a designer Bussendorfer concert grand piano, and I can only imagine how expensive that was. But since Drake's world revolves around music, they source the best of the best. The kitchen boasts a clean white color palette with large marble block island in the center, as well as blue suede bar chairs to dine in, and designer appliances. The nearby dining room has a long table for entertaining and plush couch style seating on one side. Drake's fave spawn the mansion, as if you could choose, is his 3,200 square foot master retreat that's located in its own wing of the home. There is a large one ton bed and the bedding and tapestries are all designer as you'd expect, while well, there's an extra 1,100 square feet of covered terraces here too. The rapper said about his bedroom. The bedroom is where I come to decompress from the world at the end of the night and where I open my eyes to seize the day. The bed lets you float, the shower lets you escape and gather your thoughts, and the closet makes you want to talk to herself while you're getting dressed. Mm, mm, mm. I just went into demon mode. <laughs> His spa-style bathroom boasts a steam shower and a hot tub, while the suite also encompasses two dressing rooms and a kitchenette. Then the luxury guest rooms are located in the guest wing of the home, as you might expect. And since Drake couldn't skimp on anything, the mansion even has special toilets. Yep, some if not all the high-tech toilets here can even play relaxing music while you do your business. Drake also has a cozy studio lounge with backlit panels and warm lighting, and elsewhere an awards room where he proudly shows up his Grammys. There's also a world-class recording studio where Drake likes to listen to music, not just create it, and a jersey hall displaying basketball memorabilia in a museum-like setting. Other features include a home gym, a movie theater, a snack room, an elevator, and an impressive block staircase adorned with chandeliers. Not to mention being the basketball ambassador and fan that he is, Drake has an NB regulation-sized basketball court inside his home, custom designed with his OVO brand logo. Downstairs, Drake has an Olympic-sized indoor swimming pool 
projected in black granite, also boasting special lighting to set the mood, seating around the pool and mirrored walls. While an indoor pool helps in Canadian weather, Drake had to include two pools, building another one outside, which is also massive and perfect for the few months of summer we have. Drake's multi-million dollar estate also offers a 10 car garage and spacious driveway to hold his luxury car collection. While he doesn't spend nearly as much time here as his Toronto palace, Drake still maintains some real estate on the west coast, his LA compound. Located in the exclusive Hidden Hills neighborhood, Drake owns a few neighboring properties, buying the first in 2012 for nearly $8 million, which spanned about three acres of land. Listing materials claim this estate was a world-class private resort and the former owner bought the land in 2003, spending years to create the masterpiece. The mansion spans 12,500 square feet of space with six beds and 10 baths throughout and no expenses spared with the amenities. There are a ton of amazing features inside Drake's LA crib, including a 24 seat home theater, gorgeous library, games room, spa and massage room, and fitness center. Not to mention, there's what the listing calls the most spectacular wine cellar tasting room you have ever seen. Drake's master suite here has his and hers bathrooms, and to access the room, you can travel through a revolving bookshelf, just like the movie. Talk about privacy. The outside spaces are even crazier than the interior, considering there's a multi million dollar pool as the main attraction, which alone has cascading waterfalls, an 80-foot slide, a grotto, a wet bar, and even TVs. Imagine the pool parties. Also on the grounds, you'll find a mechanical bull, a tennis court, viewing pavilions, and even a volleyball court. This doesn't include the multiple terraces and patios, guest bathrooms, and the horse facilities with five stalls and a riding arena. In recent years, Drake purchased two neighboring properties to this estate, turning it into one big compound all for himself. In 2016, it was reported he paid just under $3 million for a 1950s ranch-style house across the street and another in 2018. The most recent purchase was somewhat of a fixer-upper, but Drake still paid about $4.5 million for it, and it spans 2000 500 square feet. All of these properties combined allow Drake to take up about 6.7 acres in the San Fernando Valley. And that brings us to the end of our Drake house tour. We got to take a look at his custom Drake Manor in Toronto which took years to construct and it's really something else. We also took a peek at his properties in Los Angeles but to Drake we know which mansion is his favorite. His Toronto dream home has everything. Personally I think it's more than any person needs but it is Drake after all and we know that he wanted the place to be extravagant. Hands down my favorite room in the home is the indoor pool in the basement because it's just so cool. Be sure to let me know which was your favorite feature or room in Drake's home down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all next time. Bye.